Check, 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 check. I've got to tell you guys five things you just must know about the DJI Mic 2 today. And you gotta stick around till the end because I've got a bonus tip after number five that might change everything you think about this. So as of right now, the DJI Mic 2 is a bonus that you get with the creator combo when you buy the creator combo of the Pocket 3. So let's just get right into it and I can't wait to show you guys what this thing can do. Number one, this little microphone has eight gigs of internal storage on it. And that is super essential because even though it's a wireless microphone, you have the comfort of knowing that if something gets in the way, there's an interference, you're going to have a backup file saved on here. And that just gives you such a level of comfort that like you don't get from some wireless microphones. A lot of times you'll be recording with a wireless microphone and won't know until later on that something glitched it out and your audio can be completely shot. You might have to actually delete something from your video just because you couldn't do it or do a crappy voiceover that doesn't look right. You know, you've been there probably. And there's another reason this internal storage is awesome and that's in my next one, which is number two. It has what's called 32-bit float. I'm not gonna do it again, I did a reel on it. Here is that. What I need to do is be as loud as I can into this microphone and try to get it to blow out the internal audio recording because that's not 32-bit float and we'll see if we can recover it on here. Here we go. Ah! All right, let's recover it. Ah! So 32-bit float is where it gives you a high dynamic range of audio, meaning it can pick up really, really quiet stuff. You can pull it back up in post and match your levels for your normal talking. And if you scream really loud or something, it's not going to peak your audio. It will peak it in the camera, but our internal recording on the mic too is gonna be saved in 32-bit float, which means that even if somebody peaked out your camera, it's going to allow you to go ahead and bring that back down and match your levels where it doesn't sound ridiculous like some of those gaming YouTubers out there. You know, you have your kids watch them. You might watch them yourself, but when they freak out and scream into the microphone, oh my God, it's so hard to watch. I can't, I can't do it. Like 90% of the audio recording equipment out there won't do this. And to number three. Number three is that you have a remote for recording on your Pocket 3. I've got my Pocket 3 up right now, and all I gotta do is hit the link button here, just tap it once, and the Pocket 3 starts recording. And I'm currently talking to you on the Pocket 3 after using the link button to hit record. It also works as a shutter button if we're in photo mode. So I can set up my camera, step back from it, and use my mic to click shutter for a photo. That's really awesome. Also just awesome to be able to back away, start and stop your camera without having to link up the Mimo app to do all of that. And for number four, I need an extra piece of equipment. I'm going to remove my windscreen here, which by the way, attaches really well compared to some of the previous ones. I do like that it's just a dummy 3.5 millimeter that just goes in there and it stays real secure. I don't worry about losing this at all. There's nothing about this that makes me feel like I'm gonna lose it. The Pocket 2's version of this was nowhere near as secure as this. All right, let's get into it. We're gonna take this off, which opens up our 3.5 millimeter jack. And I'm just gonna add this. So I have a small Comica shotgun mic right here. And this is on my Ulanzi MT33 tripod. I love this little flexible tripod, but I talk about that plenty in this video here. So you don't need to hear me talk about it here. Anyways, I'm gonna put my wireless mic here and then I can plug in my shotgun right to the 3.5 millimeter jack. And I can be recording with my Pocket 3 and somebody else can act as a boom operator and operate this mic as a boom mic. Now, um, likely you might want a larger microphone, a larger shotgun mic for this, and that would work just fine, but my larger shotgun mic actually does not like wireless connection. It gives a weird feedback to it, so some microphones can handle it and some don't, and I'm not sure what that function is that makes it not do that. If you know, leave a comment down below, and I'll make sure and pin that comment so people see it. But this mic is particular. It does great with it. I'll actually record to the Pocket 2 right now with it using the remote. I am recording with it as a boom mic setup, so if somebody wanted to hold it up here as a boom and like get it out of the scene, they could. And But let me just kinda, I'm gonna show you that it's recording from here and not from here by just doing this. Being able to use it as a wireless boom mic gives you so much creative freedom to make films. Like filmmaking with this camera is going to be so awesome. 
I can't wait to shoot my first short film with it. The next short film I write, I'm definitely using the Pocket 3 for most of the shoot just to show what this thing can do. And just for my peace of mind, knowing that I've got a budget piece of equipment that can shoot a full short film for me. For number five, I need another additional piece of gear, and that is headphones. So a lot of lower end mirrorless cameras within the price point you're paying for the creator combo of the Pocket 3 do not have the option to monitor your audio. So I can put these headphones on, which my headphones are 3.5 millimeter headphones, but you need an adapter like this that takes it from 3.5 millimeter to USB-C. And then I can plug it right into my USB-C on here and I can monitor what I hear through my microphone. It's a little bit laggy, but it still gives you an idea of what's being said. And if you need to adjust the microphone at all and the decibels that are coming in, there is a little bit of a catch here. And that is that it can go through this USB-C. It can also go through the USB-C straight out of the bottom and you can still monitor it this way. I prefer to do it with this extra adapter so it's coming out of the back. I gotta take this off because it's messing with me. For some reason, and I don't know if they're going to fix this, I can't get it to pick up through the battery adapter. I don't know if that's something that's going to be fixed in the future or if there's a reason, like maybe the um, plug on the battery adapter is only for charging and doesn't uh, put a feedback outward. Actually, they've done an update since I tested that, so let's test it again real quick. Check, 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 check. Yeah, so with the battery adapter, it does not work. So other than with the battery adapter, you can get a monitor on your mic too. It's just something in addition that you're allowed to do and you're able to do where you can't do that on other cameras. They cost the same, that don't come with a amazing wireless microphone like this one. For this last bonus one, I'm gonna shut off my Pocket 3 because we don't actually need the Pocket 3 for this. And a lot of people have wondered, does this wireless microphone connect to other devices and other cameras? And the short answer is yes, but let's get a little bit more into it. So on like my mirrorless camera here, it doesn't connect, but what I can do is I can record on here, give a snap and start speaking. I can match the internal recording audio in post by just matching up my waveform and then get really good 32-bit float audio straight out of this. Beyond that, it does connect with Bluetooth to things like cell phones. So my Samsung Galaxy S22 actually pairs with it through Bluetooth. So I'm gonna just do it real quick. We'll shoot a recording and you can hear what it sounds like internally on my cell phone. So I'm using the DJI Mic 2 through Bluetooth with my cell phone. Now I do have to shoot in the pro mode to be able to do this. So if your cell phone has a pro mode where you can select different microphones um, via USB-C, Bluetooth and what have you, this is a great option to give you a wireless microphone. Even if I forgot the Pocket 3 at home, I've got a wireless microphone for my cell phone that sounds pretty decent. So I actually found that out from one of my awesome subscribers. They told me to check out uh, Gemini Connect's video on some of the Q&A stuff and she is pretty good. She answered some questions and threw this in in the end too. And I was like, ah. Oh, that's amazing, tried it out. I got to connect to my phone. Um, I got to connect to my daughter's phone um, and my wife's iPhone actually worked with it as well. So as far as I can tell, it works with most phones as long as they have like a pro setting where you can do some adjustments and stuff in it. Pretty cool, awesome features to have. This little microphone's awesome and I know there's probably some other stuff I didn't touch base on, but these things are the things that I think just kind of sell this for me and make it worth every penny of adding this microphone to your Pocket 3 to make them an amazing set. So what do you guys think? Is it worth the extra money to get this awesome microphone plus a battery extension on your Pocket 3? I think it is. Let me know. I'd love to chat down in the comments. And if this video helped you make a buying decision at all, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, get more videos on the Pocket 3, budget videography stuff. And guys, I'm just super stoked for this camera. I can't wait to shoot more stuff on it. And I'd love to hear some feedback on what you'd like to see done with it. But until then, check out my playlist on it because I've covered a lot of stuff so far on this camera. And hopefully I answer a lot of questions in those other videos. Go shoot something awesome. Don't forget to post your work. Be proud of your work. 
and use whatever camera you have on hand because that camera is your best camera because it's there. All right, peace out, guys. I'll see you next week with another one. Later.